Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill rack daily challenge using Python programming language. Don't skip any part of our video otherwise it could be difficult to understand. First we will understand our question. We have to accept n cross n matrix from the user and the integer k and if border of the upper triangle is k then we have to print yes else we have to print no we have also given a note that n is always odd so that the triangle can be formed now consider this example where the n is 7 that is number of rows and number of columns is 7 and the integer k is 3 so in this matrix the upper triangle is represented with a parenthesis and uh, used quotes but in real time we we'll ha don't have these we'll have only the integers now we can clearly see that the upper the border of the upper triangle consists of the element 3 in all the positions right so we are going to print yes so how we are going to implement it is the question first we will represent this row using this for column in range n if matrix of n slash two, that is, here n is seven and seven slash two is three, which represents the third row and column. It's not equal to k. Then we have to print no. so now let us check for the slanting part of the triangle these elements we'll use a for loop for row in for sorry for co counter in range n double slash 2 if matrix row is ctr and column is n double slash 2 plus ctr not equal to k or matrix ctr n double slash 2 plus ctr not equal to k we print no now and we will end the function so the possible iterations of ctr are 0 1 and 2 so for the first 0 and n double slash 2 that is 3 3 plus 0 represents this element and this matrix index sorry this is minus so this whole statement will represent this element then ctr1 so the row is 1 and 3 minus 1 is 2 then we'll have this 3 and this 
then we'll have CTR2 and we'll represent this two elements. So now our next example here this element 1 is different from other elements in the upper triangle border so we'll print let us implement our program first we'll get our inputs n and k then the matrix using the list comprehension then we will initialize the flag variable equal to 0. At last, if flag is equal to 0, we will print yes. If flag is equal to 1, we would print no. Next, to specify the middle row of our matrix, we use a for loop for column in range to n. If matrix n slash slash 2 in column is not equal to k, then flag changes to 1 and we use break. Then we are going to specify the slanting part of the triangle the elements in the slanting edges for row sorry for CTR in range n slash slash 2 if matrix CTR n slash slash 2 plus CTR is not equal to k or this same statement but we will change our sign minus so the flag is equal to 1 and we use break here break is not necessary but we use to reduce the runtime of our program so now If flag is equal to equal to 0, then we are going to print yes, else we will print no. Now let us compile our program. Compilation finished. Now we will execute it. I have already prepare the test cases let me give it as the input yeah the program prints yes as we can clearly see that the element 3 is present in the border of the upper triangle then we use another test case and execute our program and it prints no as one is different from other border elements of the upper triangle Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you in next video.